Hey friends. I'm uh, doing a nice early morning video post today because I'm gonna be in transit all day, heading straight into a family dinner when I get back home to Albuquerque. So I'm out here and I'm seeing the first clouds in the Seattle sky since I've been here. Didn't know they had clouds out here. But I had, uh, I'm out here because I, if you see my last couple of posts, you followed this, but I'm out here because I gave a little, a uh, little lecture on Friday morning for some students in the mixed media program here at Seattle Central Community College. And the topic of the talk was um, the creative process and I was offering some, some guidance and some insights and some lessons I've learned over the course of my career, the various types of work I've done. And it was actually really enjoyable for me to do. I, I do this, I've done this the last two, and it's now three years running that I've done this lecture towards the end of the year for this class. And it always inspires me. This year was even, I'd say a little more focused than usual because I really kind of knew where I was going with it. I had a sense, I've, I've already been playing with the, the idea of launching a mastermind for artists, creating a place where people can come and get some support, some coaching, some exercises, can both get a, get a little nudge in the pants to stay in the game to keep moving in their creative work and or also um, have some moments to reflect on the process you know some people are some people need a, a group like this because they just need they need some accountability they need to show up and do something um, that keeps them engaged with their art regularly other people are swamped with the work of their craft and their art and they actually need the, need a group like this for a different reason which is it gives them a chance to step back it gives them a chance to to be in the creative process and be but be reflecting on it and be taking some time and space to gain perspective that often doesn't happen because if we're if we're too if, if we just don't have the time for it or the process itself feels like it's pedal to the metal all the time it can be nice to have a little space to sit back and go okay let me think about is is it is the direction i'm going really the direction i want to go and um what are some practices what are some things i can do to give myself headspace around this and hopefully uncover deeper sources of inspiration it's all about staying engaged staying in the game as I call it and staying uh, inspired staying connected and I got a question during this lecture one of the last questions I answered she asked me about how I stay engaged, how I make the, make the pivot, as she called it, between all the different types of work that I do, because I sort of started out talking about my work as a musician. I had a piano, so I played some music, and I, um, I had a, I just gave them a, a picture of how my career has gone so far, and what keeps me inspired and 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 it it was evident that i've that i've kind of done a lot of different things and t took my degrees and then really went in directions that were not at all dictated or stipulated by my education my formal education 
and I answer the question, but but there's an answer that has come to me to that question in the meantime. It showed up yesterday, and I thought, oh, that's really kind of how I do this. And what came to me? Excuse me, early, got early morning flight. Um, what came to me at some point yesterday, I was just out, um, kind of standing in a park, and I thought building my craft, that's really how I do it. And by that I mean, what, again, if you're following my posts, you sort of know I talk a lot about the work I'm doing on piano, the classical study that I've been engaged in over the last couple of years. Building craft is the slow work, right? Like, you, if you are an artist, and you pick up a pencil and you keep working to become a better sketch artist, or if you work in a digital medium, if you simply practice the work of rendering something that you're seeing, working with shading, working with light, working with color, right? All the, I, I'm not a visual artist, so my <laughs> description of what you might work on in that medium is kind of rudimentary. But for me, learning Chopin etudes in the last couple of months, last couple of years really, has been a way for me to stay moving in doing the slow work which which is the work that that is that is ultimately it's the work that you that you can't that you can't go backwards once you've done it there are things in a creative career constantly that feel like they you're going forward and then you're going back you're you're up a little and then you're down a little there's a ton, there's a ton of that um, it's the nature of the work, I think, that we have a sense of, uh, and, and there may be artists for whom this is not the case, but, but, but certainly in my case, it's been, I feel like I'm on track. I feel like I'm, my, my, my opportunities are showing up. I'm, 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 I'm rising. Things are, things are going great. And then periods happen when it's like a fallow period. You're waiting to see if, just waiting to see what's next. I'm not sure what the next opportunity is going to be or the next phase. And, but simply, but having something that's in our control, like our craft, and having something that That, that first of all takes a fair amount of our own discipline to show up and do those are the th the, that's the gold those are the things that we, we can't undo that work no one can undo that work the absence of opportunity does not undo that work setback failure does not undo that work there's n it, it's the it's the thing that will keep moving and if we if we sort of can recognize that and and commit ourselves to a lifetime of that then the amount of of, of movement we will make is vast and also this is why it came to me as an answer to the multi-hyphenate thing it It, it it doesn't allow 
the presence or absence of opportunity, of, of what seems like, you know, maybe career remunerative professional opportunity to determine either the pace or the direction of our growth. We take charge. It's the, it's, it's the willingness to sort of say, this is me, this is my work. I take responsibility for what I, for the, for the craft. I take responsibility for learning this. I take responsibility for my own movement. And, and it's massively empowering. And I, I realized that over the years, you know, the way in which, the way in which I've basically manifested opportunities to, to, to work in a kind of multi-hyphenate way, a lot of them, it, it co comes down to a willingness to practice craft, to build craft, to do the slow work for, for just in, a, in an ongoing way. You know, I try to keep, even when I have a massive opportunity or a massive project on my plate, I try to do a little of this. I try to remember that, that coming back to just practicing piano technique, right? The thing that, that is so subtle and that, you know, develops slowly musicality, fundamental musicality playing classical music it's uh and i attribute my my success as a multidisciplinary artist to that willingness because it i give myself the gift over and over again of of being Of, of being in control, of feeling in control of my own creative development, of my own artistic development. It takes command of my own growth. And it, I, it, I take the command of my own growth into my own hands. And then, and there's a, there's a feeling of power that comes from that that's just incredible. It, it means that of course we still want to create opportunities. Of course we still want to build relationships and we want to, we, we still have the, the deep urge to find professional outlets for what we do and what we want to do. But we're not, we're not like beholden to those opportunities. We're beholden to ourselves and it's a great place to start it's a great it's a great thing to feel it's a great gift to give ourselves and over time that really does kind of become it determines our level of depth it determines how how much how much am i really in the game how, how I, it, it puts staying in the game into our own hands so that's what I would offer any young student or old student of, of a creative discipline. Um, doing the slow work is really the, it's, it's certainly for me, one of my major foundational kind of handholds on the process. So that's what showed up today, folks. I will see you from home starting tomorrow. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Have a lovely day. I'll see you soon.